If Otani does take his talents elsewhere, there are plenty of other DH options out there right now. So with that as the backdrop, time for us to play pay or pass. I'm going to give you each a name of a player and a contract prediction, and you're going to let us know if you would pay that player or pass on that player. So, Todd, let's begin with you here on Teoscar Hernandez. Four years, 80 million bucks. Pay or pass? Um, you know what? That's a tough one for me because I think I was jaded watching him this season. I think his last couple of seasons have been very good, um, but I think he's coming off a good season this year. So that $80 million in four years is probably a little bit steep for him. Um, I love what he can do with the bat. I think he's an intimidating player um, when he gets in the box. So I'm going to say pay, but um, I think that's just squeaking under the level wire for me. Yeah, I agree with Todd. I like the player for Four for 80 seems a little steep for what he is. I will say, we're going to go through a bunch of names here. Teoscar Hernandez is one of the few on this list who you could reasonably expect to play the field on, on not just a part-time basis, on a near everyday basis. And he's not bad out there. So you, he does come with that benefit. But four years, 80 millions for a guy who's already in his early 30s is, is quite a bit. All right, then there's Justin Turner, the former Met. What do you think, Dave? Are you paying or passing? Uh, I'm going to pass here. Okay. Although I love the idea of the JT reunion back in Queens again. I'd love to have that come full circle. He's done a few things since he left the Mets, I remember. <laughs> he spent a little time in L.A. where he did pretty well for himself. We're seeing him here with the Red Sox. Here's the number to hit you with right here. Turns 39 on Thanksgiving Day uh, this week. That's getting a little up there. I think that's been a great career for JT. I think we pass on the reunion in Queens, though, guys. And then there's Jorge Soler. What about three years, $45 million bucks, Anthony, for Soler? This is a pay for me. Right? I think he's a similar player profile to Teoscar Hernandez. I think... The peaks are going to be lower. The the, I mean, the peaks are going to be higher. The valleys are going to be lower. But at the end of the day, you look at his statistical profile, it's pretty similar to what Teoscar Hernandez has done. You're getting him at a relative bargain if you're saying four for 80 for Hernandez, three for 45 for Soler. I like Soler. I think he fits well in this lineup. And I like that 853 OPS that yeah. he put up season ago. What about you, Todd, on Lourdes Goriel? Four years, 54 million. Pay or pass? Well, I kind of see him and Teoscar as similar. He's a little bit younger. Uh, than to Oscar and he's going to be a little more affordable at that uh, 54 million. Um, he's another guy that Anthony had mentioned um, does, as Anthony had mentioned has an opportunity to play in the outfield so he's not going to be just the guy that you run up there at home plate and doesn't have a glove like we saw last year on occasion. Um, so for me I think he's a guy that I would take a chance and he was clutched down the stretch and that might have upped his value right now. Um, so for me he's a pay. Here's our next one, and I'll turn to you on this, Dave. This is a guy I'm going to tell you right out of the gate. This is a serious pay for me. Uh, Reese Hoskins, two years, $36 million. I know he's coming off an injury playing season and missed the season with Philadelphia. I'd pay him. What would you do? I think this is a no-brainer pay. I'm with you, Gary. I mean, how could you not? I mean, I, I thought really the deal for him that maybe you could get him on a one-year deal, kind of on a pillow contract to kind of restore his value. He's coming. He missed all of last season, obviously, with the ACL surgery. But we're not talking about short older issues here or anything that could affect his long-term health. He's only 30 years old, and he's just coming off knee surgery. This guy's going to come back to form, and we're talking 30-plus homers, you know, serious OPS guy. I mean, this is a guy that could solve your DH problems for uh, years to come, and I think, you know, given the market, yeah, he's going to get that second year, I think, guaranteed and do pretty well. For I think you're right about that. Here, here's our last one. I think this one's really interesting. He's 36 years old. We're talking about J.D. Martinez. Put up good numbers again last year, but again, 36 years old. What about two years? 40 million for JD Martinez. Anthony, pay or pass? How old is he, Gary? I believe he's 36. How old? 36. <laughs> I'm going to tentatively pass. I don't love it. <laughs> that I'm, I'm, you. I'm scared of passing, and then he goes out and has another season just like he did this year. This guy has been defying time for a while, but 36 is that age where a lot of players start to fall off a cliff. You worry about JD Martinez. Is he going to continue to be effective against right handed pitchers? DH does help him stay healthy, but I just feel feel like there are more, there's more upside with some of the other options we've discussed. All right, there we go. The latest edition of Pay or Pass.